I was inspired by an idea from Jennifer McGuire and some new confetti I received recently for a class I taught to try some see-through cards with laminating pouches and I had great fun with this easy awesome technique. Hello and welcome to Karen's Creative Cards on YouTube. I am Karen Hashik and I didn't stop making these see-through cards until I had seven cards I loved. I know that you can use acetate to make see-through cards, and I've done so in past videos. I will link to a recent video where I show many um, other cards in the description box, as well as links to my blog posts with more details on the many cards I show and the products featured. But I found it so much more fun and interesting to have confetti and glitter in the see-through card fronts. And all my samples show different ways to do this. I made this card for a class I taught using confetti stars, glitter, and paper from a new company called Maker Forte. So you can see that this is a see-through front that has glitter and stars, and you can see through to that pretty paper and that large star in the center of the card. And I just think that is a really cool look. Here's a holiday card with see-through part through the middle. And then you can see through to that beautiful snowflake from Tim Holtz and Sizzix on the inside. And there are snowflakes and confetti in that see-through um, center there. This card shows a faux shaker effect you can get with the confetti in uh, the laminating pouch all over the windows of the slimline die. So, um, you know, shakers sometimes if you make them, you know, they all, all the pieces stay at the bottom and you have to shake them to get them to go all over but this is like a full shaker where all the pieces are showing very clearly through each of the windows both this one and this one feature slim line dies from whimsy stamps so this is one I made that's like a full shaker birthday card and then this one it's a full shaker look here, but then in the bottom, I also added some of those elements and they are moving around. So it's a real shaker and then full shaker look for this slimline card. Uh, here's another slimline card I made uh, for Christmas and it has, of course, a see-through front with all sorts of pretty confetti and snowflakes. And then you can see Christmas blessings, peace, love, and joy is my wish for you, and um, see that right through. Now, these two I made with um, colored laminating pouches that I found at Walmart. And I think they're really pretty. Um, I will say, uh, quite honestly, that they are not as good as quality as the Scotch brand that I'll show you that I normally use. And also, um, I wanted to make slim lines, and I tried cutting it in half and putting it through my mink, and I almost ruined my mink. It was totally wound up inside. I couldn't get it out. A very handy person managed to save it for me. So uh, that would be uh, my suggestion, and it even says it on the packaging, but of course I didn't read it. Don't cut them in half before putting them through. So if you have a small mink, of course a laminator works just fine. So I went out and bought a laminator for 20 bucks, you know, which you can do. And now I can do the bigger pieces in full and then cut them down for a card like this. So that's a, a really cool look with the colored uh, laminating pouches. And I love fall colors. And um, I made this one um, also with a colored see-through laminating pouch with all sorts of punched leaves and confetti and this is a new die from Rubbernecker and because it was a little shorter um, die I made this like a, I guess a mini slim card okay so it's a little shorter but it's still um, a slim line version this is the card that I'm going to make a version of in this video um, I I'm going to use my favorite size of laminating pouch, which is the five by seven um, size um, from um, Scotch. And um, I 
uh, am going to make this card. It has a beautiful butterfly, uh, butterfly border, um, see-through, and sending hugs. Now, the one I'm going to show you, um, I thought I wanted a top folding card, and that worked fine for, you know, keeping this together. But you can see that when you put the laminating piece in here, that that's... Uh, it's kind of waving here so I didn't really like that so I'm going to do a side version um, when I show you how to do it um, this pretty paper here is tonic mirror card so um, I have my mink set to three which is what is recommended for laminating pouches and um, I am going to create my butterfly front. Set these aside for now. Um, I have some larger confetti butterflies. Okay, now I have to remember this. I did this wrong before. I want to have the orientation of the larger butterflies not all going sideways because I do want um, it to be this way. So stay up there. So these are larger butterfly confetti pieces. And then I had a couple like flight confetti things that I'm going to use here. And then I have some smaller punched butterflies that I punched out of vellum and mirror card. I don't know if I need all these, but I'm just going to start with what I have there. And you just want to arrange them in a way that you like. And then I have some tiny little butterfly confetti that, to be honest, I don't know where I got that. And I have some Nouveau Purple Organza butterflies uh, that is a confetti from Nouveau. And I'm just going to fill in the spaces with these. Of course, you want it see-through, but you kind of want to have it all over. And I'll be cutting this down to mostly use the center. But if there's extra pieces, I like to die cut something or use it um, on something else too. So, I had a brush here. And I like to move these around with that. And these are tiny little butterflies that I'm just going to fill in a little bit. Oops. That was a bit much down there. I don't know if it would show anyway, but let's move them around. And then I'm going to carefully close it. it through my mink. Come on. There we go. Kind of have to hold it um, so it kind of stays flat until it's so they don't move around too much.
In the meantime, I was going to show you, this is the mirror card that I'm using from Tonic. And here's a couple different sizes of laminating pouches that I have. I said that my favorite was the 5x7, but I do have the smaller 3.7x5.2. And um, then the big ones, um, I have more than I'll ever need in a lifetime, but I uh, was running out, so I ran out over to Target and got the only package there was. But this is a fun technique, and of course it can be used for uh, many, many uh, different things. So our pretty see-through butterfly front is done. I have cut the front of this card with a new die that I received from Gemini called Butterfly Breeze. And it has that pretty butterfly border there. And I um, have a little skinny piece of two-sided strong tape here. Whoops. And oh, I should have checked this first. Do I like it? Yeah, I think it's okay to go all the way to the edge here. Right, it's got to come out to this. Yep, that's going to work. And then I'm going to trim this off. Now I know I could have cut it down beforehand, but I like to just wait until I have it in there and I know exactly what I want to cut off. So it, um, to me, makes sense to do it from the back and to um, not be guessing in advance what, because this is a five and a half by 11, so it's a five and a half square inch card. So it now is a see-through to that to the center with that pretty butterfly border. Um, I don't like the look of this tape on the inside and that's something you always kind of have to think about. So I have this skinny gold washi tape that if I can find the end to, there it is. I'm going to cover that tape up with this. I had a scissor. Where did it go? There it is. And we'll cut that perfectly here too. So the front is done and that pretty glitter tape is there hiding the other two-sided tape. And then I have sending hugs, which is my favorite thing to say nowadays since I'm not getting any real ones from my long distance kids and friends, or even short distance. We just can't do hugs right now, can we? Which is kind of sad. And I'm using my favorite glue from Barely Art designs. Right. Fairly art. Yep. Which has a nice fine tip, but it has other tips as well. So we want this to be where we can see it. These this hug is from Lawn Fawn and this sending is from Sizzix, and I'm just combining the fonts and sizes and different colors for the message inside. Sending hugs. So um, we can see the big hugs through 
the um, see-through butterfly front <coughs> with the pretty butterfly border and the see-through uh, acetate front. I had so much fun creating these see-through cards with confetti and glitter and laminating pouches and I hope my cards have inspired you to give this a try. Thanks for watching, sharing, and subscribing and thanks too for helping me share the joy of creativity.